So, careers. I love sport, so I might go down a sporty path. I've always been told that maths and science is the best option. Sometimes it feels like there's just so many career choices. I'm a bit confused. I'm really interested in beauty. I feel like I want to know more about it, don't you? When you think of a career in the beauty industry, what do you think of? Hairdresser. Nail technician. There are more than 5,000 beauty brands operating here in the UK. Employing more than half a million people. But how much do you know about what they do? In this series, we'll be venturing to the other side of what we see on our screens and our shelves. To take a peek at some of the thousands of different careers that are in this fun and creative industry. Not sure beauty is relevant to you? Did you wash today? I hope so. Brush your teeth? Wear sunscreen this weekend? Use a filter on Insta or TikTok? Looking for a way to save our planet? Or did you send yourself up with something fresh today? Well, the beauty industry is responsible for all of that. So, let's go. Cells. Test tubes. Boring. Dull. Not for me. Now let's add beauty into that. I've never thought about combining science and beauty before. I want to find out more about cosmetic science, why it's important. And speak to the people who can spill the tea on why cosmetic science might be for me. You are so lame. Something that always fascinated me about makeup was the formulas. The chemistry behind makeup products for me blew my mind. When I got into STEM, it was definitely the magic of how science explains the small things. You start to understand the world around you in a different way, and that beginning was magical. Do you think it's part of your job to give that wider understanding of these products? Definitely people come to me as like the educator. So when I'm giving them like new products that haven't been released yet, they really want to know like what's in there and like what, what's the formulation. Consumers are really science focused, hyper educated. They want to know how things work, what things are doing. When I first started creating my brand, I don't think that I understood the village it takes, formulations, manufacturing, the components that the products come in, the logistics, every single part of the process. There's someone in STEM that has helped me bring my brand into reality. I kind of fell into the beauty industry. I was looking at exploring medicine, and as I was going through UCAS, I came across cosmetic science, and that was the only course that took my fancy as someone who really enjoyed beauty. So from what I've studied at school, I've used chemistry, biology, with a touch of maths. The way that ingredients are mixed into a cosmetic formulation, that's a lot of chemistry. The way that the ingredients interact with your skin, again, chemistry. And then you have to know the biology of the skin to know how the skin will respond to these ingredients as well. Something that I actually think that would have helped my career a lot is having a little bit of that education and that knowledge about the chemistry that goes into makeup products, especially formulations. Having that knowledge from the start before I created my brand would have been so helpful. Behind the scenes of the beauty industry is not what you might expect. It's not necessarily us in full faces of makeup. It's me in a lab coat sometimes on an equipment line, trialing a new product. It's exploring different scents for fragrances and perfumes. Going through a process right now where I'm making like a primer and there's someone that's changing the formula that's actually specializes in making like that primer formula that's tacky and lasts like in hot countries or in cold countries and have that 12 month shelf life. My appreciation for the science and engineers is so big, honestly. I started my career at Kew studying plant-insect interactions and you could think, what's the link with cosmetics? Understanding what's in these plants to protect themselves from UV being eaten gives you hints about things that actually could be used by the cosmetic industry. There's so many uses of plants that we just really haven't fully discovered. I love everything about my job. I love the versatility of it. I love the creativity. I love that no two days are the same. It's all about collaboration. So you can talk with toxicologists, microbiologists, but also marketeers. 
So there is like a huge amount of talent in the beauty industry. You get a real sense of community and everyone really comes together to help each other. And I think it's always so fulfilling to go into a store and see things that you might have worked on. Once you put a product on the market, the first thing I do, I go on the website, I have a look at the reviews. Do they like it? Do they like the product? It would have been great to go into production of products and it's the most interesting thing. You don't think about how much goes into these products. I wish I knew back then yeah. that right now I could be a cosmetic chemist yeah. and that could be my career. Did you even know that was I didn't even know it existed. No, exactly. yeah. I didn't know it existed, you know? So there is such a broad world out there. You just have to realise that these jobs actually exist, you know? It's an industry that needs people from all different backgrounds in STEM. It needs your formulators, it needs your microbiologists. It's so versatile, you can be doing quality control one day, you could be working in production another day, you could be working in branding, marketing. There's so many paths that you could go down, but honestly, if I can do it, so can you. If you're a scientist, but you're also very creative, and you want to use your science and also have fun, this is definitely the place you would like to go. I definitely say go for it. <laughs> There's so many different niches and roles, especially from STEM. Opportunities. Progressive. Exciting. Fun. Made for me. Knowing what you know now, has it helped you? You too could do any of these. The journey starts here. So could you be a future talent in cosmetic science?